How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Yeah, really good, thanks. I just interviewed Laura and Josh. I had no idea they were married. I know, interviewed. they're amazing. Yeah, super cool. I mean, talking of, of, of Laura, I mean, obviously, and, and Josh is a great screenplay, but I was wondering about the, obviously it's based on the, on Laura's novel. Did you read the novel beforehand? And do you find it just as a, is that, do you have a kind of process in that regard? Do you find novels can be quite helpful? Can they sometimes be a distraction? Do you go project by project when it comes to source material? So um, as an actor, I don't always find that reading the source material makes a difference, right? Because it's, you know, the the world that they've created and specifically that they created for the show was its own de novo kind of, you know, world. And it was great that we had Laura adapting her own book because we knew that, you know, it was going to be faithful to the source material. But she she honestly expanded it beyond the book. You know, um, uh, my character is much more robust in the series than she was in the book. And there are other characters that are more fully developed than they were in the book. Uh, for her, I imagine it was a... a great opportunity to get another bite at the apple of this world that she had built, you know, from scratch. Um, if I'm directing, then I am, I do spend a lot more time with the source material for sure. Uh, and I am going back and reading the books and doing all that stuff. But when I'm acting, really all I have to do is bring the pages in front of me to life. So it's not as important that I go back and, and read, you know, earlier material. But as an actor, I mean, you have, obviously, as someone with a great sense of improvisation. I'm just wondering when you're on shoots like this, which obviously follow very much a kind of dramatic narrative, I just wonder, is there any room at all for any kind of input or, or but due to the kind of nature of the story? and the kind of screenplay at hand do you just leave that to the kind of writers well there's obviously this beautifully you know very intricately constructed mystery that is unraveling here right so you don't want to do anything that's going to get in the way of that kind of moving train um but i think it's i, I think for me more the you know it's about the look and the feel of the character how she moves through the world maybe how she says certain words i think i pitched um, maybe having a nickname that, that Jules had a nickname for Bailey that I think was not in the book, just to, to show that she had an intimacy with Bailey that, you know, you, you're kind of trying to paint a picture for people that goes back way before they're actually starting to watch the story. So you want to bring some of those little elements in that show, oh, Jules and Bailey have a closeness that's different than Hannah and Bailey's relationship. So yeah, you just come and you go, hey, I'm thinking about doing this. Is that cool? And then they say yes or no. And <laughs> it's a collaborative <laughs> process. <laughs> You obviously mentioned your, your your direction before. I just wondered if um if you think that since becoming and sort of taking on the reins as a director, do you think that changed your relationship with your craft as an actor? Oh, absolutely. For sure. For sure. I mean, I think it goes both ways. I think I love working with um, uh, directors who've acted because I think we have a shorthand with each other. It's easy. I mean, it's like, it would be like you speaking to another journalist. You're going to have a way of speaking to each other that's different than you speaking to someone in a different field. So, uh, and then, you know, coming back to the acting, I think my approach to the material and to the work has changed now that I've directed and I'm a bit more patient. I'll say I'm a bit more patient on set when things go over, over schedule than I was before I directed because I understand how many moving parts have to go my way um, for things to be, um, to move smoothly and, you know, things can derail at any moment. So uh, yeah, they, they inform each other. And, um, and I, I think that being a director has improved my enjoyment of being an actor as well, because I do like to just show up and say my lines and get the hell out of there. <laughs> I mean, you've been involved in some great kind of shows across the years, some kind of long-standing appearances, some quite brief. When you sign up to a project, you always have to consider the possibility of it being a long-standing project. Does that, does that ever have any impact on whether you say yes or not? Because they can be quite the commitment, I suppose. Yes. Yeah. 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 I think that does. I think it does come into play in it. You have to think about like, do I want to be committed to this for five or 10 years? And, you know, where if there, if there are other priorities that are more important to me right now. And there are definitely projects that I've let go because I felt like they would get in the way of my long term personal creative goals, which is hard to do sometimes because you're always in a position, I think, as an artist in this business, no matter what you do, of thinking maybe this is the last job I'm ever going to get. <laughs> I think, I think you know, that, that, that feeling never goes away. Um, but, you know, as you get older and you kind of think about what where you want your career to go, there are times where you think, well, if I say yes to this project, it's going to keep me from doing these other things. And so I've got to, there's always a calculus there. Um, but then sometimes it's just serendipity. Do you know what I mean? You also have to be open to things coming into your life that you didn't anticipate. Yeah. Well, this is definitely a great role. Uh, I very much look forward to it being released. Thank you so much for your time today. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye -bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you know.